So I guess the question is, what is it like for those divers who are trying to pull up that engine from the bottom of the Hudson? Certainly too dangerous for us to go along, but we did the next best thing. We went to Blue Water Divers in Rochelle Park, New Jersey, where they train and rescue they train rescue and recovery divers. Now, we were able to get a limited taste of what it's like in a dangerous recovery operation. Just getting into the diving suit is a workout in and of itself. Moving in the water, a real chore. And keep in mind, we were in a clear, warm dive tank, not the icy, murky Hudson. That's a different ball game. Visibility is going to be a major challenge. Here's the way it looks topside, but as soon as you put the mask on, this is the way it looks. And as soon as you're five feet below the water, it looks something like this. As soon as you get 10 feet below the surface, you can't see the hand in front of your face. And that's where the underwater radio and sonar comes into play. Well, luckily they have that uh, sonar unit that absolutely pinpointed where the engine is. They're absolutely working blind. These guys are trained in it, they know how to do it, and that first hour or two when they actually feel around the engine and get knowledge, they focus on that so when they're underwater they've got one thing on their mind. Where are they with that engine and what was the plan as to how to bring it up? Using an underwater radio communication system, co-workers on the surface will talk the divers into place so they can secure the straps around the engine to eventually bring it to the surface.